guys, it's time for another one of these looking back at my old favorites videos. This one is from a video that was called like the best makeup of 2018. I can link the video down below if you want to subject yourself to that. That's up to you. However, I am shocked that I have almost all of the makeup I talked about in this video. So if you're grossed out by makeup that is more than four years old, this might not be the video for you because I have almost all of it here still. So for someone who decluttered more than half her makeup collection this year, I think that's just something about the makeup. I also tried to use a bunch of it today on Monogam. So if you guys wanna see what I said was the best makeup of 2018 and if I still like it, which I apparently really do. So, you know, let's go. I was rather organized in this video and I went by category. So I had two primers. The first, it's a sad one. And some of these things I did pull out of the 2022 Empties Makeup Bin. And that is the Becca Backlight. Is that what it is? The Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This was a longtime favorite. I did finish one of these this year. Obviously there's like a little bit along the sides, but I was like in there scraping it out and I just couldn't get it anymore. This one was sad. I did put on like a glowy kind of primer today, the Lumi Lotion from L'Oreal, but I really, really, really loved the texture of this one. And I do have the back, no, this is the back light, the first light, the purple one. I do have a couple samples of that left still. It just doesn't have the same texture I feel like as this one. I don't know, I really love this one. This is a sad, this is a very sad for me. Not much more you can say about something that doesn't exist anymore. The other primer I did put on my face today and <laughs> this is the Smashbox Sochal Coconut Primer Water. I just talked about this in the products I want to finish in 2023. There is only this much left in here and I have been like hoarding this now for years because I didn't want to say goodbye to it because it smells so good. But I've used this the last two days. I've used a glowy primer and then I've like put this over top to make like glowy and dewy together because everything is just very dry right now. And I really do like this. I have gone through like the Smashbox primer water, like the regular before, but I've like hoarded this and I'm done hoarding it, but I really do like it. Why doesn't it exist anymore? Next I have two foundations. The first is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. So I did have two of these. I decluttered one and kept one shade. I wound up keeping the shade oh, Ivory. This is, I think the second lightest shade. I do like this. I haven't used it much this year. It's one of those ones where I really need to like actively like remember to use it. I wouldn't say it's an all time favorite anymore. That's for sure. However, the other one is, and I'm wearing it right now. It's the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I only own it in three shades. <laughs> right now, I don't know if this was the best shade match. I probably should have worn a different one. I wore, I put on 202 Creamy Natural cause I had self tanner on, but like maybe it faded a bit. I don't know. I do own this in three shades. I think I've finished at least two or three bottles of Pro Glow in the last four plus years. I would say this is definitely still one of my top five foundations. I do prefer it more in this time of year when I'm a little bit drier and I want a little bit more coverage. It's not necessarily my summer foundation, but yeah. <laughs> We're locked and loaded on the Pro Glow over here. Next category is conceal concealers, yes. I had three on the list. I only have one with me and it's an empty and that is the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is the second one of these I've gone through. This was in my project pan this year. I like this. I don't love it. I've already said I'm not going to buy it again. The concealer I'm wearing today is from Haley's Beauty, but I think it's a discontinued concealer anyway. Um, I also had on here the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I'm fairly certain I've gone through two or three of those in the past. I do like it. I hear there's a really good Catrice concealer out right now that I would love to try. However, I wish Catrice was easier to acquire these days. Yeah, I think if Catrice was still at Ulta, I would have bought a couple products this year, but I just don't wanna buy from their website. And that will stop me permanently from buying them from them again, I'm certain. The other concealer was the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I went through at least two or three of those. Then I wound up switching to the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. I did like that one more. A decent line, high coverage, but I feel like these days it's really nothing to write home about. I feel like it's pretty easy to find a good drugstore concealer. These days it's not like revolutionary, maybe like it was four years ago. Okay, continuing on, I had three loose powders. The first is the Cody Airspun. I decluttered that many years ago. I don't even know how long ago it was. 2019, I'm gonna say 2019. And I made this video in 2018. I think in 2019, I must have decluttered the Cody Airspun. 
it was fine. I just feel like it was so big and I hated how much room it took up. So I decluttered that. The next on my list was the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. I actually fully used that up last year. I'm fairly certain that was in the 2021 Makeup Empties video. Again, that was a fine one. It just, it was fine. But I do have one here right now with me, the Too Faced, what is it called? Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. So in the 2018 video, I had the like smaller size of this that I had bought and it was like almost empty in that video. And then I think in 2019, I bought this in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. You guys, I've, I mean, I've used it, but like, this is a big papa. This has a lot in it. I did use it to set under my eyes and like my lids and everything today. I don't really have a problem with it. I don't plan on decluttering it. I would like to use it up and get my money's worth. It just, it's a lot. It's a big undertaking to finish up a product this big and I feel like I have barely even made a dent in it. Oh, and I would not buy this again. I don't like it that much. If I'm buying a loose powder, I'm probably buying the one from e.l.f. the Halo Glow, if I really need one. But I already have that too, so let's see. What was next? The next category was brows, and I had four brow pencils on here. So I had the ABH Brow Wiz. I do have a medium brown here. I think I got this a few years ago in the Ulta 21 Days Beauty Sale. This is the shade medium brown. I am wearing it today. It's not my all-time favorite formula anymore. And I was very bummed because I've told the story before. The beginning of the year, I got the Brow Wiz in dark brown in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And I was very excited to try a deeper shade because I just feel like now that I don't dye my hair, I want darker brows just because I feel like when they're lighter, it looks strange. And <laughs> I opened it, it went like this and the entire brow pencil fell out. And I still to this day have not found where it landed. How bizarre and concerning. I also, just I'm not vibing. I like I don't I'm not a big vibing person, but I'm not vibing with ABH lately. So I don't feel like I need the brow wiz anymore. So like when I finish this, I don't see myself buying it again. Next on the list is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I do have like a little sample of it. This is also in my to pan next year video. I have it in the shade 3.5 and I feel the same about 3.5 as I do about the medium brown in the brow wiz. It's just it was a shade I really liked when I did a lot of hair dyeing. And these days I just want something a little darker. But if I had to choose between the two, I think I would go precisely my brow. I think I like that formula a bit more than the Brow Wiz. Next on here was the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I feel like I went through a couple of these over the last few years. I haven't had it in a while. I would love to try it again, but I'm sure it's really good. <laughs> I said it was good in the video. And then I also had the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil. This was like the, it had like a pink, thing and it had like a little kite shaped thing. It was again, I think in my 2021 makeup empties, I did finish that up and I liked that one. I didn't mind it. I know some people aren't crazy about the shape of it, but it wasn't the worst. Like I said, I was able to use up the whole front, the whole pencil. I had the ABH clear brow gel. I have gone through one full size and two minis. And this is now my fourth of the ABH clear brow gel. I don't know why it is not as good as it used to be. I don't know what has changed. I'm like feeling my brows. This just like feels so dry when I pull it out and it's not been open long, like not at all, maybe like two months. And I've gotten like a lot of use out of these things in the past. I feel like I got either a dud or like a really old product because it doesn't seem very like, juicy doesn't feel like the right word, but juicy is the word I'm gonna use. I don't know, it just feels different. I just want something very like strong and holding. I just want the, everything locked and loaded. Do you have a recommendation? Because I really have never found something I like as much as this product, but I feel like the, what did I use last year up? The Benefit, mm, it was a Benefit one. I think I liked that one more than this. What the heck is it? Now I have to Google it. Benefit Brow Gel. It's not the Gimme Brow, it's the other one. The 24 hour brow setter. I feel like that one had better hold than this, which I don't remember from the past. So I don't know what's going on. I had two eyeliners. They were both the Urban Decay 24 hour glide-ons. I had the shade zero, which I finished up last year and the shade perversion, which will be in this year's empties. I mean, this is all that's left. I considered this one done. I really do like the Urban Decay pencils. I just don't happen to have any right now. Both zero and perversion were free samples I got at Ulta. I have bought the pencils in the past. I just don't have any in my collection right now. Then I had three eyeshadow palettes. I am wearing one of them today. Okay, so let's see. The first eyeshadow palette, 
I was very tempted to put this one on today. I miss this palette. I don't know why I never reached for this palette, but it is my Too Faced Gold Chocolate Bar. This was like the only palette I would take places because I thought this was the most amazing idea ever, just having a couple mattes and all these different shimmers. This is, first of all, I love the like, Too Faced palette smell, but I still really like this palette like this. This is my jam. I don't really like big palettes, but I like not having a lot of decision making when it comes to my eyeshadow. So like, all right, all I have to do is put on some of these browns and then pick my shimmer. That's the kind of eyeshadow I need. Something simple. I still am really into this palette. It certainly isn't getting decluttered. The palette I'm wearing today is a ColourPop palette and it is the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. Oh man, this is, this is my favorite ColourPop palette. I am always amazed every time I use it, just like how well it works together. And this is something that brings me joy. I like having makeup that brings me joy and this brings me joy. And let me tell you something, this declutter series I did this year, ha making it so that I have a collection that brings me joy has made my makeup world much more happy again. The third palette I had is from Laura Lilith Los Angeles and it's the Nudie Patootie palette. I have to be careful because one of my shadows is rather loose. But again, this is just like such a me palette. It's so plain and boring, but it also is so pretty. And I really like the quality of these shadows and I really need to use it again soon because what's the point of having nice things and not using them? I was that kid growing up. You guys are in it. I used to just have shelves, shelves in my bedroom of like Barbies and stuff still in their boxes because I wanted to keep them perfect and I didn't want to mess them up. I had toys that I didn't play with because I didn't want to mess them up. Let that sink in. Bronze, I had the most bronzers. I had so many bronzers and I still have a decent amount of these. Okay, so the first one is from Catrice and it's their Sun Lover Bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed Bronze. This was like, this kind of reminded me of those hourglass bronzers, how it's the bronzer with like the glowy powder mixed in. It's a really pretty product. It is a baked product and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but I mean, I definitely made some movement on the dome. So I really still like this. Next is the butter bronzer. You might recall this from 2017, but by the 2018 video, it had quite the pan in it and now it is quite empty. So I liked the butter bronzer but I have so many bronzers. I do not want to get the butter bronzer again. I used it up and I felt like that was the accomplishment I needed in that. Next is the bronzer I'm wearing today, the powder bronzer I'm wearing today, I should say. And this is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. I feel like they discontinued this a while ago. This is the shade Golden Gal. I feel like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, let's see. I can like see the imprint of the rings in this one. I wonder how close I am to hitting pan in this. Like this, this was a very well-loved product for quite some time. Maybe I could try to pan this next year, even though it's not in my project. Maybe I can move this into my project pan. Once I hit pan in the bronzer, I'm trying to hit pan in. We shall see. Next is a product I fully used up in 2021 as well, and it was the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. I really liked that product, it, and it was a mini. It wasn't the full size, but it wasn't something like where I used it up once again, and I felt like I needed to go and like replace it. like. I just felt satisfied that I used it up and can move on to other things. This bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer. This survived my declutter. I just, there's something about this. It's very unique in my collection, this shade, and I like it, so I kept it. Something I did not keep that did not survive my declutter was the Catrice Contour Palette. I remember I was very like, 50-50 on this one when I was doing my bronzer declutter and it had like a contour powder and like a little like highlighting powder but I really didn't like the highlighting powder in it and I don't really create like a powder contour anymore it just didn't seem like something I needed to keep so that was something that got passed along then I had the elf glow up face palette in my favorites it was part of the 2018 holiday collection honestly it was a really nice face palette it had four highlighters two bronzers and two blushes and I will say, I think the thing ELF does best is complexion products. Like that's, I feel like where their strong suit is. So it was just a really nice rounded holiday palette and it was a really good price. Okay, moving on to blushes. Most of these I actually did not, did not survive my declutter. 
First is the CoverGirl Iced Cappuccino Blush. I feel like I've found so many good blush formulas lately. I wanted to be very specific because I knew I liked a lot of my blushes. So the CoverGirl little Cheekers blushes didn't really survive. They, they are good quality, but it's just like the delivery system. I feel like they need to update that packaging and just make it look more sleek because having that space for the little brush, like why? Just, it's not necessary. The e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush and Always Rosy was in my favorites. That I think also got decluttered. I think I was between keeping that one and one I had from Wet n Wild and the one from Wet n Wild. I just liked the shade a little bit more, but that really is a nice powder blush formula. I had the Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne Blush. Now, I don't like that formula as much as the newer formula in like the circle packaging. And I feel like the shade just wasn't a shade I was reaching for very much. The blush I'm wearing today is the Tarte Party Blush. I have watched so many people try to pan this blush and you could not pay me enough money to try to pan this blush, but I really, really do like this blush. So it survived the declutter unlike the others. And I had a liquid blush, which I also am wearing today. And it is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Nectar. This is also from my video of 23 products I want to finish in the year 2023. So I don't know, we'll see what I can do. I actually highlighted today and I'm not mad about it. And I used the Smashbox highlighting palette, the Pearl palette. I did mix these two shades together and I kind of like mix it in with the party blush. And I really like the effect. I'm not a very big highlighter girl anymore, so I was very particular of what highlights I saved when I did my big collection declutter, and this one survived the masses. I also had the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade 250. This was a shade that Maybelline did in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. I really did like it at the time. It's quite blingy. It did not survive the declutter, so it is no longer with us. And then another product that was definitely in the 2017 video is the Tarte Highlighter in the shade Stunner. You definitely can see from this far away, I feel like, the dip in this pan. And it smells so good. A highlight that did not survive my declutter was the ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock. I feel like I got the hype of Flexitarian. It was like the blingiest thing I've ever owned in my life. However, I feel like I've never had a Super Shock cheek product where it just like felt like it naturally worked with my skin tone. I haven't tried very many, but the ones I have tried just haven't been the right ones. So maybe someday I'll find a Super Shock cheek product that I really love, but so far hasn't happened. Another product I used up this year is the e.l.f. Highlighting Stick. This was in a project pan for over a year and I finally finished it up. It was a free product I got from e.l.f. many, I'm guessing in 2018, but now it is completely finished. I enjoyed using it, but I'm very glad to be finally done with it. Ooh, the setting spray I used today, I actually just opened it. It was still taped shut this morning. Uh, this is the Catrice Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I have gone through so many of these. This was my last one in my collection. I was like hoarding it. And today I was like, you know what? I'm using it for this video. It really does just melt all the powders together. And I feel like it's just such a pretty product. This one is gonna be hard to go through because I'm not gonna wanna <laughs> say goodbye to it. I don't know if they make it anymore, but like I said, it's so hard to get Catrice these days. The Urban Decay All Nighter was also in this video. Urban Decay All Nighter has been a favorite for a very long time. This is my favorite long lasting setting spray. It's just like one of those tried and true products to me. I had the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray in that video. I think I went through two or three of these. It was just a really easy product to use and that was really nice about it. I don't miss the product. I miss the packaging of the product because it really was easy to spray and set my makeup with it. Yeah. <laughs> Mac Fix Plus. I think 2018 was the first time I had used Mac Fix Plus and I still really like it. I have finished a couple bottles in the past. This is just like a little free sample I got. Oh my gosh, I opened a new mascara today that was like a free sample I had gotten earlier in the year. Benefit Roller Lash. I forgot how good this is. Like. I've been using a lot of mascaras lately that I really like. And like, I know when I don't like a mascara, but wow, I love Benefit Roller Lashes. Definitely in my top fives. My top five for sure. All right, now we have lip products. And lip products is where I only have two out of everything that was in this video because my lip collection was very expired when we did my declutter this year. So actually the one I'm wearing today is from Physicians Formula. And this is the Healthy Lip in the shade All Natural Nude. I really like it. 
I don't really buy liquid lipsticks anymore, but I definitely still wear them, especially if I'm like going somewhere and I don't feel like touching up my lips. Like I'm gonna throw on something that's a little bit drying for sure. The next I had was called the, it was the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Rebel Rose. I just feel like the formula of that didn't last very long, so I don't have that anymore. Oh boy. The Bite French Pressed Lip Gloss in the shade Flat White. Samantha Ravendahl got me on this and I really liked it. It had this amazing coffee scent, but something I always found with any product I got from Bite Beauty was how quickly it expired. I swear I had that lip gloss for less than a year before it expired. Like it smelled rancid. I mean, I know that they are going out of business except for their lip labs, but I don't know if that's a big reason, but I, I wish the products for the cost would have lasted a little longer. Next on here I have the Wet n Wild Flight to Feathers Featherless Gloss. So they had like a hummingbird collection, I'm pretty sure it was. And I had a gloss from that collection. It was fine. I feel like I decluttered it a couple years ago. The next was the Lime Crime Velveteen Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bleach. This is a free sample I had gotten from Ulta and I liked the formula, but the shade Bleached was just a little bit more pale than I like to wear these days. So it got decluttered in this year's declutter. Next was the Nude Sticks, like stick lip product in the shade J Mama. Honestly, I can't remember why I decluttered it. It must have been a shade thing because I do have a couple of the Nude Sticks pencils and I must have just been like very particular of which shades I kept. The other product I still have is the Pixie by, Pex Pixie by Petra liquid lipstick in the shade Pastel Petal. I at one time did have two shades of this and this is the shade I wound up keeping out of the two when I did my big declutter. I still do like this formula. I wore it the other day. I had from Sleek Makeup, like a liquid lipstick in the shade Daydreamer. I think I got that in an advent calendar. It was fine, but I have since decluttered it. I have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lipsticks. I had the shades Juju and Cookie. I feel like I still have Juju, but I can't find it, which makes me think it's in a purse somewhere, which means like I'll find it again someday. But Juju was like a little bit more like a nudie berry versus like Cookie was a very pink shade. And I'm pretty sure I decluttered cookie and kept juju but lately I've been wearing the shade XYZ a lot I'm pretty sure the gen nude like matte lip products have that line doesn't exist anymore but I really like them they're very like they're more like a moussey formula and they smell really good the NARS power matte lip pigment in the shade American woman I'm pretty sure that formula went bad I think I don't think it smelled right and I decluttered it the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Kristen. I'm not crazy about that formula anymore. It's very thick and goopy and tacky and just not a lip, not a lip gloss formula. I'm very interested in these days. I had the Buxom Plumping Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. I actually fully used that up in last year's empties. Once again, that's in the 2021 video. I do prefer the lip polishes over the lip creams. And I do prefer other shades over White Russian. I feel like White Russian is a little overhyped. I think they have better shades than that. I had the Morphe Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Virgin and Jealousy. <laughs> Again, like they, they just, I don't have them anymore. I don't miss them. <laughs> the last thing I had was a red liquid lipstick in the shade Boss, B-A-W-S-E from Smashbox. I really do like the Smashbox always on liquid lipsticks. However, again, this formula, I've never had a liquid lipstick formula expire as fast as those Smashbox ones. They would just like dry out. Like you would pull out the thing and it would just like, nothing would come out because it would be completely dried out. So I would not buy that formula. And yes, those were my 2018 favorites. I have a lot of old makeup, not so much new makeup, but you know, it's interesting to see that so many products I liked in 2018 survived such a big declutter I did this year. And there are still products that make me so happy. Like I feel like my makeup looks fine today. My foundation might not be the best match, but that is a daily occurrence in this house. So let me know, what do you guys think of this video? Do you guys still have any of these products? Let me know in the comments. Should I do 2019? Once again, let me know down below. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.